once upon a time, the lime monkey chew tobacco and spit white lime. And welcome back to my channel. It is the spooky scene of Halloween. When Upper Western World celebrates Halloween and here in Jamaica, we don't do that here. We don't do that here. Now for the past days of your cows, specifically calves, stylizing them in different ways in order to draw my favorite Jamaican duppy, the rolling calf. Now before I tell you the I just a couple interesting facts, superstitions rather, about Jamaican duppies. Duppy, derived from the Akan language, the Akan word adopi, which means ghost or spirit. Now, most of our duppies are spirits who wander the property of plantations, slave spirits, or spirits that inhabit the mountains of escaped run slaves. The Creole word dopi is derived from the Akan word of the African language adopi, which means ventral spirit or ghost if you will and through hundreds of years of tradition and storytelling from the older generations we receive these superstitions to protect us from these so here's my list of duppy and don'ts if you are throwing something away at night make sure you say excuse me because if it hits the duppy to get attacked Children were told to play at night, lest the doppies play with you. To not sit in the walkway or pathways that would step over you, which is considered bad luck. Don't point at a grave. If you do, bite all of your ten fingers and put them behind you. And whenever you are leaving a dead yard or away, make sure you walk backwards. Leave. And if you want to take it, wear your clothes inside out. And with that, we've come to my favorite duppy of them all, the rolling calf. Now, you can say, what's so about a calf? It's literally a baby cow. Dangerous. Baby cow. Well, this rolling calf is different. I used to be scared of cows. Up until I was 10 because every evening my mom would send me to deliver food to my aunt next door who owned a cow now I was a small child about four foot nine and the cow was tied in the shade of some trees on the path to her house so this cow was a giant sometimes it appeared larger than the trees and it would always stare me down as I passed I believe the story. You are walking alone night somewhere in the car, in the dark streets behind you, accompanied by the piercing sound of a chain being dragged. Then you will see the rolling calf. It appears small at first, about the size of a puppy or a regular. Calf. Then. It will rapidly grow in size until it's bigger than you. The rolling cap is described as having eyes and it breathes fire. Its intent is to try to kill you, hence its name. And in order to get away, you can run quickly to a crossroads. Light three matches quickly and hide the third in your hair. The calf will start on three months because it thinks you have dropped all three. But we find two and will see the rest of the night giving you enough time to get away. You are lucky. But God help you 
ever finds that third match. Scary story done. Now on to the art. So I was studying different breeds of cows and I came across this cow and I said, this cow is the scariest. All my hands were filled with adorable baby calves. I decided to draw the rolling calf in its final form, where it's big and now muscly and looking intimidating. Because I can't cute baby calf. So I painted the bone dark night and I tinted him making it look uncomfortable like he's draped in chains and it's trailing on the ground. I used a ching method to get that storybook aesthetic. I used watercolor to give some meat and depth but of the cow that were more in the background. I added a broken horn to the cow to make it look intimidating like it's been in a fight like to this. And I ripped one of its ears, you know, to give it that rough and tumble kind of feel. Originally, I was planning to do this but then I really wanted the red of the eyes to pop. I wanted it to look like a children's storybook almost. It reminds me of that art style so much. I would say I accomplished my goal. So I watered down the edges of the eyes to make them look like they're glowing. And then, this is not blood, this is just the base of the fire that comes out of the cow's nose. And that's it to add to the art. Enjoy the time lapse. And this is our final piece. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye!